The question is an oil company requires 12,000, 20,000 and 15,000 barrels of high grade, medium grade and low grade oil. Refinery A produces 100, 300, 200 barrels per day of high grade, medium grade and low grade. While refinery B, so as you know till now we have known that there are two refineries, refineries A and B and there are three kinds of oil high, low and medium grade oil. So, refinery B produces 200, 400 and 100 barrels respectively of high grade, medium grade and low grade oil. So, this much information is not easy to decipher until and unless we draw a table. So, I write here solution and let's draw a table. So, the table has few contents. The contents are like we are talking about the refinery. We are talking about different types of oil. The oil may be high grade, medium grade and low grade oil. So what is it like? The oil company requires these many barrels of high grade and everything. We will see it later. Refinery A produces 100 of high grade, 300 of medium grade, 200 of low grade. Let's cross check refinery A per day, fine. Next is what? We are talking about refinery B. So it is 200. 400 and 100. So, this is refinery B. So, this information is very clear. The next it is saying about if A costs rupees 400 per day, B costs rupees 300 per day. So, A and B cost 400 and 300 per day. So, this is your A, this is the cost per day rupees 400, this is rupees 300. Also, one more thing is into picture, the requirements. So, the minimum requirements, if I am not wrong, so company requires 12,000 barrels of these low, high and everything is given. So, high is for 12,000, 20,000 means medium and your 15,000 is there. So, this is it. So, high, medium, low grade oil. So this is your table, you can always draw the lines and everything. So what should be my next step like? I should be saying I have to follow the strategy of obtaining the function which is known as the objective function. Here I write min which is min. And now what do I see? I see that the cost is 400 here, 300 here. So let me write it as 400x plus 300y where x and y are corresponding to a and b respectively. Now also I have into picture that here is 100, here is 200. So one constraint would be your 100x plus 200y. The next will have 300 and 400. So it will be 300x plus 400y. And the next would be 403, uh, sorry, 200 and 100. So it is 200x plus 100y, right? Now, here is 12,000, 20,000, 15,000. I also have into picture this is high grade and that is the requirement. So, the requirement for high grade is this much. So, either we should have greater than equal to or less than equal to that you have to know. So, definitely you can have more than that also. If I say there is a requirement of say 20 articles, so 20 articles means you can even have more, there is no problem in that. But 20 is for sure required. More than that, not a big deal. So I write here greater than equal to 0, here also greater than equal to 0 everywhere. Are we missing out something? Yes we are, we know we have non-negative constraints that should be there. So x comma y greater than equal to 0 should also be there. Now this is there as minimum and we have this objective function, these are the constraints. Now what is the next thing that has to be taken care of? The next thing that we have to take care is regarding the formulation of these uh, constraints into graph. So see the question we are required after this information how many days should each be run to minimize the costs while satisfying the requirements. So we will erase the board and then we move to the graph. So I have erased the board in sequence. And now let's see what has to be done. I know minimum of z is equal to 400x plus 300y. There are some constraints and those constraints would have what into picture? Let's see. 
so it is 100 here and here also I have this refinery B which says 200. So I'll have 100x plus 200y greater than equal to the requirement that is 12,000. Next is what? 300 here. So 300x plus y. So plus y is 400. So it is 400y greater than equal to we have 20,000. Then next, next is your 200 for x plus for y we should be having 100. So 100 for y and then I have greater than equal to 15,000. So are we missing out something? We should be seeing into picture we have these non-negative constraints x, y greater than equal to 0 and these are the things that are there. So now we can easily solve this. We can easily say that this is nothing but x plus 2y greater than equal to say 120. Here we can say this is 3x plus 4y greater than equal to 200. Here I can say this is 2x plus y greater than equal to 150. So these will be your line number 1, line number 2, line number 3. Now you know that this is possible only when we solve it through the graph. So let's draw a graph for the same. So now these are the line equations. I have already drawn this Cartesian plane in front of you. Let's see, this is x for 120, y for 60. So x for 120 is here and y for 60 would be somewhere here. So this has to be joined for line 1. Next is x has 200 upon 3 which makes it nearly what? If you divide 200 by 3, you know that 3 6 is 18, so 66 point something. So x is your 66 point something, which should be somewhere here. And then you have your y as 50, so your y is 50. So this will be here. So let me make it like this. For next equation, so it is x has 75, so x has 75. And then you have y as 150. So your y is 150. So now let's join these and get some straight lines. Now we have joined them and we have these lines L1, L2, L3 are represented. Let's see what should be the next step. I know that these are the constraints. I have to put 0, 0. So 0 greater than equal to 120 is false. 0 greater than equal to 200 is again false. 0 greater than equal to 150 is again false. So false means there is some problem which should be a benefit to us. That means it is against the origin, away from the origin. So this area has to be shaded. So I am drawing with the help of arrows. So one point should be this one which is coming out as the intersection point. The other point should be this one and the other point should be this one. So let's name this as say P, Q, R respectively. So what is your P? P is 0, 150. If I am not... Uh, confused then it should be 150 so that we will see it is 150 here right then what is your r it should be uh, 120 comma 0 again let's check we should not make a mistake so it is 120 and what about this intersection point this intersection point lies at the junction of l1 and l3 so we have to form the intersection of l1 and l3 so what would it be like? x plus 2y is equal to 120 and what is L3? Let's multiply by 2. 4x plus 2y is equal to 300. So minus 3x and here it should be like minus 180. So x is equal to 60 is there. So x should be your 60 and what is your y? So put 60 in any of the equations. So it is y is equal to 30 because when you put it it will go to the other side solve itself so 30 is your y now is this the final answer no because you have to put these values in a tabular form in order to get the answer you have to compare all the results we were asked as to minimize the cost let's see our objective function and know what should be the answer like our objective function was 400x plus 300y so 400 into x plus 300y. When I put this value, the first value, I name it as z1. When I put the second value, 
I name it as Z2. When I put the third value, I name it as Z3. So what is Z3 you have to see. So this three answers out of which which is the minimum you have to compute that answer. Now when you solve it further, you come to know that Z2 is the least. The other have the higher values. So upon solution, you can see this becomes 24, this becomes 9, so 33 and putting the zeros at back. So that means this is the least and when it is the least, what should be the answer presented as? It says for how many days should each be run? So A should run for 60 days, B should run for 30 days. So the answer is 60 days, what should run? A should run and 30 days, what should run? B should run. That is the answer and that is how you do it.